out of the seven female guests or co-hosts I've had on my shows, there's only been one that I shared kisses with and only one that I wanted to share kisses with. And thanks to the fire back in December, I lost a lot of my photos and material from the show as well as our time together. But I guess it was fortunate that I was on my way to go see her when that whole ordeal happened because it would be our last time together. So I put these clips together from some of our episodes and our time with each other as a memoriam to my friend Julia. That's that's raw earth, that's metal, that's everything that represents... On the day that Julie and I met, there was an incredibly powerful Florida thunderstorm, and a bolt of lightning actually struck the ground behind her on the chairs we were sitting on, and it was close enough that mud from where the lightning bolt struck the ground bounced on us. So I used to joke with her that every good adventure I'd ever found all started in a storm and ended with fireworks. You see what I'm saying? Even if it's not about the concert, it's all about I want to be about that. Mm-hmm. That's what it's saying. Now, if I'm going to tell the truth, I really didn't want to have a lot of shows with Julie in it because I was enjoying our time together more than I was enjoying putting together shows for with her. But she really enjoyed it, and she was a magical thinker without a doubt. So there were some fun times in the recordings that we did we did some that were just the audio track and then we did some that were videos and the whole thing was really cool (laughs) some of the good things i can tell you about julie is that she was a widow and she definitely loved her husband that's for sure and uh, i respected her for that i also appreciated how much she adored her family all the extensions of it and friends and people. She was always welcoming people with open arms. And she was a huge music fan. See, Julie used to be a photographer in the U.S. Navy, and she'd fly around in helicopters and taking pictures of boats and all kinds of crazy stuff. But when she went to these concerts, she'd send me pictures, and she'd just be in such a good mood about it. As a matter of fact, I'd bet you a million dollars that she's trying to convince David Crosby and Christy McVie to hold a concert somewhere with her. Okay, so there you have it. There is my very brief and ordinary description of an extraordinary woman who lived a very extraordinary life. I will miss you, Julia.